right, so how does language affect our lives? This is my good dog, Wynn, so he's gonna be helping us in the video, I think, or he might just wander off, you never know. So, language is important, and but it might be important in different ways than you've thought of before. First of all, how we talk to ourselves. What kind of language do you use with yourself? Specifically, what questions do you ask yourself all of the time? So you always have an inner monologue that's going on in your mind. Why did she say that? Why should I have done that? I should have done this other thing. And you're doing this all the time. And imagine you're in the shower and you're getting ready for work and you're like, all right, what do I got to do today? Where do I got to go? What phone calls do I have to make? You're asking yourself literally a series of questions that your mind is then finding answers to every single day. You can change the quality of your life by changing the quality of the questions that you ask yourself. So what if instead you said, what can I learn today? Who could I help today? What could I do for someone today? How can I make myself better today? How can I make the world better today? What if you ask yourself those questions, your mind will find a place where you will have to find the answer to that question. Because that's what our mind does. Our mind's better than Google. It'll automatically start answering that question. And so the quality of the question that you ask yourself. So watch this. Why am I so stupid? Your mind automatically starts thinking of all the reasons you're so stupid. Versus if you said, you know what? How can I lose 20 pounds and enjoy the process the entire time? How could I lose 20 pounds and enjoy the process? I wonder what things I could do, what things could I eat and enjoy the process the entire time? Your mind will start searching the world. It's called the reticular activating system for the very things that will help you with that. So how the language you use with yourself, particularly the questions you ask yourself. Secondly, the language you use with others. We have to be smart with our language. Imagine the difference between saying to somebody, hey, what's the matter with you? Or hey, what's bothering you? You meant to say the same thing, but the way in which you ask the question can come across very differently. So we have to get very sophisticated and start thinking about how can I ask this thing in a way that makes this person want me know that I want to understand. One of the most powerful four words I've ever learned is help me to understand. Help me to understand why that's bothering you. Help me to understand what I did that made you feel this way. So if you can just learn to change your language slightly and get to be more of an expert in your language, it's one of the things that'll change your life drastically. The language you use with yourself, and then obviously the language you use with others, and particularly the language you use with your significant other. What if you made a commitment today that you were not going to use negative language with your significant other, that you were only going to compliment them, be in wonderment about them, be fascinated by them, and always be happy and romantic around them. What if you just made that decision, you did it for 30 days, how would that change your life? So the language that you use with yourself and with others can change your entire life. Dr. Tim.